Self-service BI is starting to, to get some really good traction in business intelligence and there's a need for it. What we have are a lot of, of requests coming in from the information workers and poor IT trying to keep up with them. They're just stacked up. They can't even keep up with the request, requests that they have. So self-service BI makes a lot of sense. Let's let the information workers do as much as they can, as much as they want to be able to do, in an environment that's, that's safe, if you will, that's contained, but is also free to allow them to make their own reports, create their own analytics. What we found, Colin White and I just did a, a research paper on self-service BI, and what we found was that there were four components. The first one, of course, is that you have to have easy to use BI tools, tools that are easy to to manipulate, you can easily design something and, and create something. The second one I think is almost more important, it's the ability or it's an environment where it's easy to consume the information. It's not just easy to use, but they can actually understand it easily. They can enhance the information easily. The third component is that it's easy to deploy the data warehouse and it's fast to deploy the data warehouse. You've got to get it up and running, got to have things all set up and ready to go. And then the fourth one we found most interesting of all, it was that it has to be easy to access the information assets, the data assets. And a lot of the, the customers that we talked to, a lot of the vendors that we talked to, they said, look, if you can't access the data, the other three, who cares? If you can't, if you can't access, access the data, then who cares if it's easy to use or easy to understand and so forth and so on. So easy to access, we honed in on that. And what we found is that in a self-service BI environment, the information workers will bring in many of their own assets, many of their own data assets. They'll bring in an access database, they'll bring in an Excel spreadsheet, they'll mix that information with the data warehouse information or data mart information, and you've kind of got this, this free environment of governed stuff in the data warehouse and data marts and ungoverned stuff that's in the access databases and, and Excel spreadsheets kind of mixing together. So they, they will virtually combine these things together and come up with their reports, their analytics, and so forth. The other part that we found, though, it's good to have all this good access but it's not chaos. What we need to be, have the ability to do is also monitor what assets are they using, how are they using them, when do they use them, what kinds of reports or analytics are they creating, so that if they do start to create some, some components that are used in critical uh, features, for example, a compliance report or some kind of regulatory report, and they're actually using ungoverned data for that, Boy, that ought to send up all kinds of red flags that say, no, no, no. <laughs> if you're going to send this to some regulatory agency, then you'd better be able to prove where the data came from, have all the lineage in place, put it in a governed environment. But that ability to mix and match, to virtualize data, bring in this, take that away, whatever they want to be able to do, that's what self-service BI is all about.